going to be his job right now to keep Brian Maxwell from getting on the inside, staying on the outside, hitting him with those long jabs. Brian Maxwell! Friends, since their exhibition boxing bout earlier this month. Knuckle Both up. fighters up to scratch. The call of knuckle up from referee Andrew Glenn. We are underway. Black trunks for Francesco Ricci. White and gold trunks for Brian Maxwell. Ricci already doing a good job of what he said he wanted to, he wanted to control the tempo, control the pace. He's fighting what he wants to fight right now. Long straight jab from Ricci. Good Cross body. To the shot. body. To the pocket, and down goes Brian Maxwell. Literally ran into the pocket and dropped. He just caught him coming straight in. That's exactly what he needs to do. He looks like he's still hurt. I want to continue. Step over Maxwell tells referee Andrew Glenn he wants to continue. We'll see how hard now Ricky goes for the first round finish. And that's always a danger when you come in. People say just come in and throw punches. It's not that easy. There's always somebody going to throw a punch back at you. 65 seconds remaining, round number one of this light heavyweight bout. Maxwell to the inside, right back out. Ricky keeping his composure. Maxwell very much trying to reset after being dropped here in round number one. And, and Maxwell was talking about that confidence he has now. Let's see if that, if that deterred that confidence, if it shakes it up a little bit. Maxwell trying to pump the jab from the southpaw stance. Ricky doing a... And Maxwell coming in, initiating that clinch. Biggie doing a good job of not getting too overzealous to finish the fight, but you'd like to see him kind of push it a little bit. And his opponent hurt. Biggie turning over the left hand on the lead from the orthodox stance. Again, Maxwell running in head first. He's got to be careful about that, just like that. And that's ruled a knockdown by Andrew Glenn. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he's moving too well right now. I don't know if he's getting up. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Final seconds of round number one. Maxwell beats the count. Referee Andrew Glenn will let this fight continue. The bell, we will move to round two. You cannot disrupt him. And there where he came in and he just got hit with an uppercut, right? Pressure created by Maxwell that led directly to the new two knockdowns in round number one. Round number two. And the clinch initiated by Maxwell. Break, step back, step back. Don't wrestle, don't wrestle. An active clinch, you go. heard, don't Fight. wrestle from Andrew Glenn. You can punch, but it has to be an active clinch. Again, running for the head. Stop, Get back. And, and, and to be honest with you, I know it might not sound good, but Maxwell's doing the smart thing right now. He's turned this to a dirty, ugly fight. He's got to push his opponent around, he thinks. Wear him down a little bit. Chris, if this were MMA, Maxwell literally ran into the guillotine. Watch your head in there. Watch your head coming in there. Glenn telling both fighters, watch the head contact on the inside. 80 seconds remaining, round number two. Ricky off of the jab. You can tell Ricky has no problem just waiting for his opponent to come in because he knows he has that reach advantage. He's there to utilize it. So a big swing pulls back out. Ricky slowly, methodically trying to walk down Brian Maxwell here in round number two. He's just sitting, getting in front of Maxwell and, and waiting. He's just waiting for Maxwell to step forward. Wait to counter. He loves that counter punch. Stop, stop, stop. Maxwell will see how Andrew Glenn rules this. A slipper, a knockdown. Three. Well, when he doesn't move like oh. that, doesn't rules it a knockdown. Six. I don't know. Seven. Maxwell doesn't look eight, like he wants to keep fighting to be honest. Andrew Glenn stops it, and that is the win on the third knockdown of the fight for Francesco Ricci. That he's now three and zero oh in BKFC. Said a lot that he can do there. Coming forward, it's a just little shot. Like I said, when you're coming forward and you get hit, that amplifies it, it magnifies it. It's like you're running into a brick wall or something. So every time he came in, great job by Francesco Ricky. Great job right there by Ricky. Looked really smooth. He looked very crisp. He has a great game plan. He looks like a very smart fair knuckle fighter at this point.